this U.S. Navy submarine terrified Russia for a simple reason. Halibut and her crew were awarded a presidential unit citation for several missions of significant scientific value to the government of the United States. One of the most unusual submarines of the Cold War was named after one of the most unusual fish in the sea. Halibut are flatfish, bottom-dwelling predators that, unlike conventional fish, lie sideways with two eyes on the same side of the head and ambush passing prey. Like the halibut flatfish, USS Halibut was an unusual-looking submarine, and also spent a considerable amount of time on the ocean floor. Halibut was a spy sub, and conducted some of the most classified missions of the entire Cold War. USS Halibut was built as one of the first of the US Navy's long-range missile ships. The submarine was the first built from the ground up to carry the Regulus I missile, a large, turbojet-powered cruise missile. The missile was designed to be launched from the deck of a submarine, with the ramp leading down into the bow of the ship, where a total of five missiles were stored. This resulted in an unusual appearance, likened to a snake digesting a big meal. Halibut also had six 533mm torpedo tubes, but as a missile sub, would only use torpedoes in self-defense. Halibut was a one-of-a-kind submarine. At 350 feet long, with a beam of 29 feet, she was dimensionally identical to the Sailfish-class radar picket submarines, but her missile storage spaces and launch equipment ballooned her submerged displacement to 5,000 tons. Her S-3W reactor gave her an underwater speed of more than 20 knots and an limited range a useful trait, considering the Regulus I had a range of only 1,000 miles. Regulus II was quickly superseded by the Polaris submarine-launched ballistic missile, whose solid rocket-fueled engine made for a more compact missile with a much longer range. The combination of the Polaris and the new George Washington-class fleet ballistic missile submarines conspired to put Halibut out of a job Regulus II was cancelled just 17 days before the sub's commissioning. Halibut operated for four years as a Regulus submarine. In 1965 the Navy, recognizing that a submarine with a large, built-in internal bay could be useful, put Halibut into dry dock at Pearl Harbor for a major $70 million, $205 million in today's dollars, overhaul. She received a photographic darkroom, hatches for divers to enter and exit the sub while submerged, and thrusters to help her maintain a stationary position. Most importantly, Halibut was rebuilt with spaces to operate to remotely operated vehicles nicknamed Fish, 12 feet long and equipped with cameras, strobe lights and sonar, the Fish could search for objects at depths of up to 25,000 feet. The rods could be launched and retrieved from the former missile storage bay, now nicknamed the Bat Cave, a 24-bit mainframe computer, highly sophisticated for the time, analyzed sensor data from the Fish. Post overhaul, Halibut was redesignated from nuclear guided missile submarine to nuclear attack submarine, and assigned to the Deep Submergence Group, a group tasked with deep sea search and recovery missions. In mid July 1968, Halibut was sent on Velvet Fist, a top secret mission meant to locate the wreck of the Soviet submarine K 129. K-129 was a Gulf II-class ballistic missile submarine that had sunk in March, an estimated 1,600 nautical miles off the coast of Hawaii. K-129 had sunk along with its three R-21 intermediate-range ballistic missiles. The R-21 was a single-stage missile with a range of 890 nautical miles and an 800-kiloton nuclear warhead. The loss of the submarine presented the U.S. government with a unique opportunity to recover the missiles and their warheads for study. Halibut was the perfect ship for the task. Once on station, it deployed the fish rods and began an acoustic search of the ocean floor. After a painstaking search in more than 20,000 photos, Halibut's crew discovered the ill-fated Soviet sub's wreckage. As a result Halibut and her crew were awarded a presidential unit citation for several missions of significant scientific value to the government of the United States. Halibut's contribution to efforts to recover K-129 would remain a secret for decades. In 1970, 
Halibut was again modified to accommodate the Navy's deep water saturation divers. The following year, it went to sea again to participate in Ivy Bells, a secret operation to install taps on the underwater communications cables connecting the Soviet ballistic missile submarine base at the Petropavlovsk on the Kamchatka Peninsula with Moscow's Pacific Fleet headquarters in Vladivostok. The taps, installed by divers in their ROPs, allowed Washington to listen in on message traffic to Soviet nuclear forces. Conducted at the bottom of the frigid Sea of Okhotsk, the Ivy Bales missions were conducted at the highest level of secrecy, as the Soviets would have quickly abandoned the use of underwater cables had they known they were compromised. Halibut was decommissioned on November 1, 1975, after 1,232 dives in more than 16 years of service. The ship had earned two presidential unit citations, the second in 1972 for Ivy Bales missions, and a Navy unit citation. The role of submarines in espionage, however, continued. She was succeeded in the role of special mission submarine by USS Park. Today, USS Jimmy Carter a sub with a particularly low profile is believed to have taken on the task. The role of submarines in intelligence gathering continues.